upper left. Good evening, everybody. This is another of the Metamorph You Know Better, Do Better webinar series. Tonight, we are going to have a little bit of a blender comparison. One of the biggest questions that I get asked over and over is which blender is best? And a lot of times people will say, you know, I can't afford this one or that one. And so what we're going to be comparing tonight is Vitamix, which is mine, and the Blendtex, which is Nikki's. And this is the Nutribullet? Nutribullet. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've never tried a Nutribullet before. Um, I've only ever had your basic Oster blender, you know, Black & Decker, whatever, that burns up or the kids break the, the glass um, container and you have to replace it. Uh, the Vitamix, um, we've had it for four years. I went away for a week, the, came back, turned it on, the motor was burned up. I was able to send it back. Well, I actually called up Vitamix, was able to send it back. They paid for shipping. They replaced the motor. They even gave me a new container. So that was all on their dime as a part of their um, seven-year warranty plan. Blendtec also has a seven-year warranty plan. Anything you get with any other blender would be just whatever, maybe a year's warranty or whatever. Um, so I think what we're going to do, Nikki, is we're going to start with the Nutribullet. And you may have to help me out here. We she she tells me there's a max line on here and if you go over you're in trouble so you may see me walk away because if we get too much stuff um to go in with our liquid we have to pour some liquid off um so we're going to start with um our greens and i'm just going to tell you i promise my hands are clean i never measure anything and so i'm going to sort of be the same way tonight um i just typically will just grab um, and with my Vitamix, I fill it to the top because I'm making it for my whole family. So, Nikki, you tell me when you think we've got enough here. This is this is your deal. I don't know. I may make a mess. I don't want to destroy your kitchen. So, I don't have to build over the next line of the dinner case. So. Okay, so that's maybe a cup, mm -hmm. maybe a cup of, of greens. Um, I generally like to put two cups. We're going to stick with a cup because our max line is coming up here and we still have fruit to add. Um, so I generally will add half and half because I like my smoothies to taste really good. We have fresh Georgia peaches that we're going to add in. And I don't know if you can see me, but that's okay. I'll step back in the screen in just a second. So I'm going to add a whole peach. I'm going to add half an apple. Is it safe to put a whole apple in this Nutribullet? Will it? Well, this will be an experiment. <laughs> because, okay, so we've got half of a Grady Smith apple, and we want it. We want it to be the same, right? So, okay, we're going over max. What do you think? It should be fine. Okay, so now once we've got all that added in, I generally will add in my fat, um, which would be coconut oil. We've got some here, um, or and this is another one of those. This is a test things. Um, I'm going to put avocado in here. One of the things that I do with avocado, when I do my greens, I'm not like Dory. I don't make the green ice. I just take this box just like this and put it in the freezer. And you can just take it out. It doesn't stick together. It's awesome that way if that's easier for you. But I do often freeze my avocados because they go bad really quickly. So when they start to get soft, if I have lots of them because I bought them on sale because I'm always looking for a good deal. By the way, all these has them for 39 cents this week. Um, so I have a lot at home that I picked up today, but I didn't want to use one of those. I wanted to show you what I do with them. I freeze them. So I'm going to bring that over and I'll go ahead and, and add in. Um, and when I'm making smoothies, and these have gotten kind of soft, so it's going to be a little bit easier for it to top up. When I'm making smoothies, I'll do two or three cubes, but one cube is probably about a third of an avocado, which is, when they get soft, they're not easy to handle, <laughs> but when you keep them frozen, it's just like an ice cube. So I'm going to go ahead and dump these in here. I'll put one in the blend tag. We're going we're gonna to go easy on the nature bullet. We're going to put two in the blend tag and two in the Vitamix. And they usually are not mushy, but... We've been sitting in the sink while we were prepping, so this is not a bag I'll be saving. It'll go in the trash. 
Okay, so we have our greens, we have our apple, we have our peach, we have some fat, and sometimes we will add in um, flax is really good. It's a great source of your omegas. Um, Nikki has some hemp here, great source also of omegas. It also is really high in protein. Um, chia seeds also. Uh, chia seeds will thicken your smoothie, so if you're making smoothies that are going to last for a while, you might not want to add chia seed if you want to put them in the refrigerator because it will get kind of jelly-like. Um, and then for me, I know I've mentioned this quite a few times, I use Dults and Maca, both for my endocrine system. Dults, Dults is great, uh, specifically for the thyroid. It's a better source of iodine than hemp is, not hemp. Um, kelp and Maca is also really good for your endocrine system. So we're going to pick just one, and we're going to add a little bit to this because I want to see how well does it grind. Um, are your flaps already open? The chia has a scoop in it. The chia has a scoop in it. Not no. as horrible. Um, we're right. gonna. I got it. We're gonna. We're gonna open up the flax seed. And again, I'm not a measurer. Um, I've been doing this long enough that I can just kind of go. Eh, that's about a teaspoon. So that's kind of what we're gonna do here. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and do the same here. We'll get back to these in a minute. And the base here is almond milk. Uh, we use raw goat milk a lot. Ooh, that's probably a teaspoon and a half, but that's okay because it's a Vitamix. It'll eat it up. Um, but uh, I often use raw goat milk. What we have tonight is almond milk. And you can use water. Water is fine. Um, you can use whatever base you want to. Sometimes I'll put some kombucha in there and get a little bit of fermentation going and I can sneak it in and the kids don't know it's there. So what are we missing? We got it all in here? Are we ready to go? Do you want to put some ice in here? Typically, I'll get it. Okay. Typically, um, all my frozen, my fruit is frozen and my greens are frozen, so that provides my ice and it provides the coldness. But if you want it to be really cold like a milkshake, you're going to want to add ice. So I'm going to go over here, and you're just supposed to throw all this in the Nutribilla and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to add just a, a little bit of ice over here. I'm not going to add much because I really don't want to mess up the kitchen. But I also know that ice is one of those things that blenders don't always mix up very well. They leave little chunks. So we are well over. So I'll pour some liquid off. It's probably We're fun. good. We're good. Okay. As long as it doesn't um, smart liquid, I'm going to switch that on. So we're going to screw this top on tight. Make sure it doesn't leak. <laughs> May not get the top back off. <laughs> um, get the top on tight. It goes upside down. It goes in here, and then you press. It. And presumably, you wait till there's no. Chunks left. That be right? right. Did, did we leave it in there long enough? I'm seeing some black seed float around. Um, but, okay, so I don't know if y'all can see the black seed floating around in there, but it totally does not look like it even started eating on black seed. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of smoothies, not chunkies. But we'll try this in just a minute. We will uh, now. Um, I think I'll do these simultaneously. Well, we can't because we have this quite thing. Okay, so we're going to do the blend tag first, and then we'll do the Vitamix. And I have to tell you, I'm a little bit jealous of Nikki's blend tag because I like the um, super easy things, and this one is a press one button and you're done kind of thing. So we've got the same amount of almond milk in here. We are going to add, again, I'm going to do these at the same time so you can see that it's about the same amount. Big fat handful of greens. And this has all kinds of good stuff. It comes from Sam's and it's got um, chard and 
and it changes based on the season. Spinach, kale, carrots. Sometimes I have beet tops in it. Um, was it about the same amount? Uh, it's a little bit more there. Um, typically, when I'm making a smoothie with my Vitamix, I'm filling it to the top. So this is a little bit different for me. Okay, so already cut up. One thing I was impressed about, it looked like it chewed up that apple. So um, we're going to put half an apple in here. And it goes in here, seeds and all. Um, and I'm going to actually put a little bit extra peach in here because that cut up one too many. So we get one and a half peaches. Oh, I forgot the pineapple, Nikki. And we're going to add pineapple because pineapple is your great cover fruit. There's two fruits that will cover just about anything flavor-wise, pineapple and banana. So if you have issues with green goodness, then I would recommend adding some pineapple. And I use this really cool pineapple core um, peeler thing that I bought to core this pineapple. Just take the top off the pineapple, spin it around, and it actually will um, turn it into rings for you. Um, so we're going to put some pineapple in there. And I forgot the protein also in here. Can you take the top off and add it? Okay. So we're going to taste that just to see. We may end up at any of this high before you drink it anyway. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Um, and you don't have to do two full scoops, but I'm going to. Um, two full scoops of XM protein. It's probably the best protein you can get. It only has five ingredients. Um, it is a whey-based protein, but it's not an isolate or a concentrate. It comes, um, it's, it's the whey that comes straight from cows from New Zealand that are grass-fed and um, doesn't generally bother people that have issues with lactose intolerance. We've already added the flaxseed. We added that all at the same time. We've added our fat. We have our base. We have our greens. We have our fruits. Um, so... With our one tech. Oh, that's kind of nifty. It goes this way? Anyway. Anyway, it goes either way. That's kind of cool. Well, no, it goes. You can't. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, well, wow. yeah, you can tell I'm a million to tell you. <laughs> so, and your switch is already on back here, right? Or is this where you turn it on? Does the light come on? Yeah, it in first. Yeah. Oh, that might help. <laughs> That might help. Well, it was on. That was no, that's the vitamins. <laughs> wrong, wrong answer. I am so glad that it was turned down on low because that's one of the other <laughs> little vitamins. And that would have been really, really bad. So we'll talk about that one. <laughs> that would have been so bad. <laughs> So keep in mind that it is, what, 10.30 here on the East Coast while we're doing this uh, webinar for you. And yes, we are a little bit crazy, but remember normal is boring, so we don't want to be boring. Um, we have now the lint hack plugged in, and we have the switch on, the light comes on, and you have selections here, um, ice cream, frozen yogurt, Ice crush, milkshake, soup, syrups, fondues, sauce dips, dressings, and batters, whole juice, and smoothie. So all you want to do is press the smoothie button. Okay. Cool that it 
it shuts itself off. So now I have this one. We did not add ice. And we're going to want to do that before we taste it because I'm a fan of very cold smoothies. If you don't like smoothies, it's probably because you're going to get cold enough. So we're going to add some ice to that in just a minute. Um, and then we've got the Vitamix here that, you know, I mentioned a second ago, it could have been a real fiasco. With the Vitamix, it's not quite as high tech. Now, they do have a newer version, but it's about twice the cost of your blend tech for the high tech version that just has the push button options. This is kind of um, the middle of the line. It's a 5200, and it has two dials. You know, sometimes um, simpler is better because you don't have to worry about the electronics. But you have your on and off. I'm going to turn it off before I plug it back up. You also have um, uh, variable speed and a high speed. And the variable speed starts at 1 and it goes all the way around to 10. So the thing you have to remember when you buy a mix is always to have it at variable speed and have it turned on low. And always put your top on it before you turn it on. Those are the things to always remember. If you remember that, you won't have dreams all over your ceiling, which I've had a couple of times, and I still uh, have to remember that. So that's one of the benefits, I think, of the blend tech, or the higher in Vitamix, you can get that as well. So we are on low speed variable. I'm going to turn it on. You just start it, and you go pretty rapidly. Higher so that it, you don't have to stick this down in there because it's nasty and it's messy. But you can always just stick it in your jar that you're going to put your smoothie in. Um, I'm going to sit it over here in this bowl with the apple that I'm going to move out of the way. Um, and we're going to add some ice because we're going to taste these. And if we're going to taste them, I have to have ice. I'm going to get a little bit more than that. are for your quart jars in that drawer. Okay, we'll grab those. Okay, so we're going to kind of half this here. And when you're using frozen fruit, the other benefit is it doesn't water it down to add ice, and ice will thin it down and water it down, but I really like my cold. My kids like it almost thick enough to eat with a spoon. Ice cream cold thick. Um, so we've got the Vitamix still plugged up. We're going to turn it on. Okay, we get to the blend tag. Here, so go back to smoothie, or just do it. Like or you can just pause it. Can you call that good? Does that sound good? Okay, so we'll get the jars, get the lids, get the straws. Thank <laughs> you. 
was trying to help you out here. Um, it'll help to know which one's which by having a different color, right? And then I do this, that ring will know which one's different. The rings are underneath the cabinet. <laughs> We didn't add ice to that nature bullet. Can you tell us, Nikki, your experience with the Ninja? Because that's usually the one that everybody else asks about. We have the Vitamix, the Ninja, and the Nature Bullet. Those are the, and the blend tag. Those are the four that everybody is most familiar with. I know that you have had some experience with it. I didn't feel that the Ninja did as good a job on the greens as the Nature Bullet. It's just my personal preference. I don't like chunkies either. It left chunks of greens, and that was not. Good. That's why I couldn't. Oh, I took it back after like an hour. <laughs> now, if you see, Woo! Oh, wow. Well, there's, there's a. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. That's what happens when you're with your uh, Vitamix. Sometimes it doesn't take care of your apples. Let's see how the one tech did. Let's see if I can not pour it out on the table if it didn't chop it up. I have never had that happen to me before. I usually just throw them in there in halves. Okay, so we're going to say hands down. <laughs> We're overflowing. We're not even going to be able to fill this up. This is a um, quart jar, so we still have some left. There's a lot of air bubbles in here, and that happens when you add, when you use milk and when you're using the protein powder. So usually when I mix it, I'll do all the blending and then add the protein powder, and that keeps some of the bubbles down. Um, but obviously, that, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, I don't think that I'll have Vitamix calling me to sell any Vitamix. <laughs> so, one thing that I do know is the Vitamix. <laughs> 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 I was glad this is live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, it's okay because we can cut this part out. <laughs> there are three people. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's ground, is an insoluble fiber. 
it's great for going through you, but you get the nutrition from it if it's not um, chopped up. So to be a little bit more serious, if you happen to have a Nutribullet or a Ninja and you want to use wax, use a coffee grinder first. We want to get, to be fair to them all, it does come with a milling blade and it does tell you if you're going to use the seeds. Any so that's seeds. what I use to make my smoothie booster. To so use the milling blade. blade. Okay, so the, the milling blade would be your dry blade. You can also use a coffee grinder. Um, the thing about flax is once it's ground, you want to use it right away or put it in your freezer because it's going to lose all its nutrient value. It's just like a wheat berry. That's why they enrich our bread because when they grind the wheat berry, 72 hours later, all the nutrition is gone. Um, so with your flax seed, you always want to get it not ground. Oh, Mickey. We have, <laughs> we have green smoothie all over the back. I have it on my arm. <laughs> Doing this at 1030 at night might not have been the best idea. But um, you want to get it still whole and grind it either when you put it in your smoothie or before you put it in your smoothie. If you're going to grind it ahead of time, like Nikki was saying, with a milling blade, you want to put it in the freezer so that it stays cold. Um, hemp parts are going to be the same. They're not quite as hard, um, but they're going to leave some chunkies in your smoothie. And I just don't know what to say about that apple, except that I do know my Vitamix will, will chop it up. And... I'm going to pick it up and wash, the, wash it off and actually chop it in the vitamin so that we can see. I'm going to be walking around with green stuff on me in a minute. So that we can see that it actually will chop it up. I think it does better when they're frozen. And I don't freeze my apples. But I think it does better frozen uh, with frozen fruits. So now let's see. I'm going to take this to the, to the sink so I don't spill it all over everywhere and make another big mess. That was just hilarious. I hope you guys really got a good laugh out of that. And we all know that laughter is good medicine, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, was, that was pretty funny. Um, so let's get plugged back up, make sure I have it turned off, make sure I have it turned down. Let's see if we can't actually let it pop until it's done. And typically you can hear a difference in the sound, and I thought I did. And I, like I said, I usually don't use the tamper at all. So. <laughs> Good. 
they're probably going to be a little bit sour. Um, taste a little bit apple. Let me get a paper towel. <laughs> apple, peachy. Um, so do we need to turn the do we need to turn the camera on you, Nikki, or do we just want to hear your commentary? We can hear my commentary. I'm not dressed for camera. I'm not dressed for camera either, but that's okay. I'm dressed for I'm dressed for comedy tonight. I don't usually have the protein powder in mind, so the vanilla is nice. So it gives it a little bit of sweetness. This is very smooth, no chimes. No chimes. That's actually the Vitamix, so we had to we had to go after that one again. But we had to take some apple peel. <laughs> Chucked up these out field there a few a few seeds. Um, this one is your blend tech. I don't feel the texture of the apple at all in this one. Did you feel the texture of the apple? I can feel the texture of the apple in the vitamin. How about that? Very cool. Can I have your blend tech and me leave your vitamin, my vitamins with you? Leave them in my kitchen. <laughs> then you'll be cleaning green off your yeah. shelf like I've done off mine. It's okay, your kitchen's decorated in green. Welcome back, old friend. <laughs> <laughs> this would be your nature bullet. Yes, not a smoothie, um, a chunky. Yeah, a chunky. I have black seeds. Seeds now stuck in your teeth. Stuck in my tongue and yes. teeth. And um, so I'll put it in your blend tech for you so that you can. And 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 to be fair, we didn't put pineapple in here, but it's not going to change the texture at all. The texture here, you can see it. It's um, it's grainy, um, and then you've got the you've also got the the seeds, the black seeds that are just not at all ground up. So with all of our humor tonight. <laughs> Hopefully, we've given you a little bit of a taste of which might be best. Where was it that we got this, Nikki? Overstock. Overstock for $279. Um, somebody else saw one somewhere else for about that same price. So you're actually going to get your one tech for a little less of a cost, even than the mid-range of your the Vitamix. Um, and just in size, you notice the bulkiness of it. Now, to be fair to Vitamix, they do have a lower um, shorter spatter um, container like Blendtec does now. Um, I've had, like I said, I've had mine for a while. But Blendtec has the advantage of push button technology, uh, has the advantage of um, just turn it on and it turns itself off. That's pretty cool. And it ate the apple the first time. <laughs> So, did anybody have any questions? <laughs> Don't see any. <laughs> I hope we've entertained you well tonight. And uh, for our replay, we'll probably cut that part out. So you got it live and uncut, and you got the humor where everybody else will be wondering what happened in the middle. <laughs> so, thank you again for joining us, and um, hopefully you found this uh, at least entertaining, if not a little bit educational as well.